Welcome back into garden here in Mid Norfolk in the United Kingdom and got this little border to run you through. It's mainly planted for spring colour and particularly hellebores. We've got a variety of different hellebores in here. The reds, this chocolate black one right in the foreground here, whites and the lovely pinks. Hellebores are really well worth growing for colour and display at this time of year. So many different varieties. We showed you the video that we shot at the Edgefield Nurseries earlier in the season. That really showed you an unrealistic timing for them flowering. All those varieties grown in pots commercially had been brought on over the season in greenhouses and now at mid April through to early May is really when you can expect these whilst planted outs to be doing their thing. Let's just run you through some of these different flowers. Sometimes with hellebores you have to get up close and lift them up to see exactly what's going on and just look at this beauty. Held totally upside down in its natural form. Good thing about this is that there's a good amount of colour on the underside of the leaf and flower to give you enough interest but by getting down and having a look inside you really in this morning sunshine get that beautiful rich ruby, maroon, reds, greens, the striation within that flower and the central bit. That one hasn't got Center colour on the first one, but there is some variety in these. I think we've almost got two different plants here. That one's very different. Just look at the central sepals on that. Beautiful. This rich chocolate black, again, a very special little hellebore. Dark chocolate browns with just that hint of red. But again, from the top, absolutely beautiful. Held nicely. For distance impact, the whites really do their thing. This is a recently planted little one. I tend to buy these as small plants every season to put in the window boxes at Gardener's Cottage and then they get planted out and they take two or three years to form big plants. But just look at this lovely green and white. Small version, but again, the whites against the darker backgrounds of the soils and greens that we've got coming through here really stand out from a distance. Beautiful little plants. The easiest colours to find are probably these pinks with a slight edge of green. The bees absolutely love them. There's one just moving that little flower and enjoying them all in pollen. This clump's probably been in here for around six or seven years and it forms a clump approximately 12 to 18 inches high and by the time they get established the size of the flowers really has increased so that now just look at that in my hand probably around three three and a half inches across beautifully formed and held and these are long lasting flowers they will go on flowering for a good month these and you'll get a succession of flowers on them so really well worth growing trick is cutting them down at the end of the previous season when you start seeing the new growth emerging from the crowns remove all the older leaves and that will allow all these new growths to come up and form a beautiful clump and then you'll really experience the flower power without it being shaded or covered with the old and dying previous season's leaf this one's growing through a rose that's really only just breaking bud but you can see here's a really great example of how these will seed really quite vigorously they'll cross pollinate and you'll get a crop of little seedlings around the majority of these plants now they won't seed true you'll get hybrids but if you let those grow on every so often you'll get a marvelous surprise with a beautiful new variety to grow on and establish in your garden. 
So I really would encourage you to have a go with Christmas roses or hellebores as they're officially known.